And now to Nyeri County, where an eight-year-old man has lost his six acres piece of land following a barbaro uh, with a friend over 40 years ago. The man, George Oshira, is now blaming the judicial system over the loss of his ancestral land. And as Clement Masombo now reports, Oshira has been living beside the road for the last 15 years with the hope that one day he will reclaim his land. Wednesday, December 28, 2022, Washira and his family members, together with a few friends, converged at Maragima village in Kenny constituency, some few kilometers from Tagwa Forest, for the burial ceremony of his wife Helen Wamoyo. Washira claims the death of his wife was as a result of the shock she received after they were forcibly evicted from their ancestral land 15 years ago. <laughs> Bibi yago katika mahali hapana iko boma nikiwa na boma yago ancestral land yeye nilikuwa na baba yago na watoto wangu na kila mtu wangu sasa nauliza serikali yetu ione huruma George Washira Kirera led a fairly happy life up until March 1982 when he was engaged in what would later be termed as an expensive bar brawl with a man he had been friends with for years Washira was then 35 years when he was engaged in the physical fight with Joe Rududhi. Rududhi filed a lawsuit in which Washira was charged with assault and later sentenced to 20 months in prison and three strokes of the cane. He served his sentence. Kufutana na hayo, mimi ni kasukumu wa jera, ni kapichapo viboko, bila apili yago kuruzishiwa. We started this case 40 years ago, 1982. The whole case started because of a disagreement between him and jo, uh, Joel Minor Rodi over a bottle of beer, which has costed me the loss of my sister. And as if that was not enough, Rodudi went back again to court, demanding for compensation over the losses he incurred during the period when he was recuperating from the hospital together with five months salary he forfeited during that period. He demanded 102,000 shillings for the damages. The court granted his prayers. Twelve years later, and Washira could not raise the said amount, Rududhi was back in the courts again, this time seeking to sell Washira's six acres piece of land as compensation. The court allowed him again, and Washira's land was auctioned to the highest bidder, who happened to be Rududhi, the complainant. After the back and forth and a series of court cases, Rududhi, the complainant, obtained eviction orders, ordering Washira out of his ancestral land. Washira has since lived by the roadside along the Sagana State Lodge Karatina Road, living in these makeshift structures. Meaka igine hiu igine, 40 years, kuchapo viboko, sasa mi nalala pale barabarani, tabu, maisha ya kuka na wasiwazi. The land is 6.2 acres. The value of that land currently is over 5 million. But that land was sold because of a debt of 240,000. It defeats logic. How can you lose a land of 6 acres, 6.2 acres, because of 240,000? So these makeshift structures is what George Washira has called his home for the last 15 years. But just behind them lies another six acres piece of land which initially belonged to Washira. Washira lost the piece of land to his friend after they engaged in a fight over 40 years ago. But he is still hopeful that one day he will reclaim the land. Clement Masombo, KTA News, Madera constituency in Nyeri County. May justice prevail for Ashira. Now let's